Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Avery, and this is the fifth episode to our uh, Devlog series where we're making a game using Go and the Raylib library. After recording a video, I noticed it was pretty long, so I decided to split it up in a couple different episodes because I wanted to keep them somewhat short. So in this one, we're we'll looking at the player's idle animation. And this is where we left off last time, so let's quickly add the player's idle animation. And that can be done pretty easily, especially with the stuff that we already did for animating. We just need to know to change the frame every couple seconds whenever the player isn't moving. So we can do that down here under update and under update. That should be an easy fix. Let's take this right here, player source. Let's move this out of here and get rid of this. And now that that's out of here. Um, so the frame count, so this is what it's moving. That's how much it, the frame count should change from when a player is walking. But if the player isn't walking and if the frame count is modulus 45, then the player frame should change by one. And then we also need to change a little bit of this. Let's go to, let's do if not player moving and player frame is greater than one then player frame equals zero. And we can do player source dot x equals player source dot width times float thirty two player frame. And let's quickly check to make sure that's working. Okay, else if and here we have it our player moves on its own. So I guess to quickly explain this is, we're, so we're setting the X to the actual player frame, but down here, so if it's not moving, we're just gonna say, well, let's make the frame change every 45 ticks, and it moves, and we're saying that if it's not moving and the player frame is greater than one, let's set it to zero, because the idle animation only has two frames, so this is a regular frame, so this one is not moving. And we also need to recalculate X based on the player frame. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful and informative. It was pretty quick. In the next video, we're setting up some of the tile map stuff. As I mentioned, I recorded it all together. So the next video should be out already. So go ahead and check it out and see you guys again next time. Bye.